So far this year, the IRS has seized over $3.5 billion in crypto-related fraudulency money. However, research reports from blockchain analytics shows fraud and theft amounting to over $10.5 billion this year alone. Who's behind all these crimes? Why is cryptocurrency the mother load for all these opportunistic criminals? And how can you or I not get scammed and be part of the statistic? Stay tuned to the end to find out. What's going on everyone, it's Yami here and we're talking about the sneaky side of crypto and why you should be very careful with what you invest in. But before we begin, please remember to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and please subscribe so you can get more content like this. Did you click it? You sure? Okay, let's get started. The Internal Revenue Services Criminal Investigation Unit, the IRS CI, seized $3.5 billion in fraudulency in the illicit use of crypto. 93% of the total money the IRS CI has seized is due to these crypto related cases. 93%. This obviously shows that fraudsters and scammers have found an easy way to leverage the popularity of crypto to their own advantage. Now, Chainalysis, a blockchain forensics firm, estimates only 1% of all transactions in crypto is illicit use. So that means 99% of transactions in crypto is perfectly fine. But when you think of the asset class in total amounting to a market cap of $3 trillion, that 1% is really hard just to dismiss. It's money laundering, it's scamming, it's lies, it's deception, the same old stories when it comes to these money fraudulent cases. And there's always going to be a threat to any financial sector, but the difference with crypto is, well, one, the staggering amount of money at hand here, and two, how easy it is to get away with it. And I know I'm tossing out billions of dollars like it's nothing, but let me put that into perspective for you. Bernie Madoff ran the largest Ponzi scheme in history, defrauding thousands of investors over $64.8 billion over the course of 17 years. Now, he finally got stopped and had to serve a prison sentence of 150 years and also had to pay $170 billion in restitution. But if you remember, the reports conservatively estimate around $10.5 billion a year is illicit use of crypto. So if that number remains static, that means in the same course of 17 years, that'll be the equivalent of three Bernie Madoffs getting together and defrauding tens of thousands of investors. So it's fair to say that crypto is a bit of a threat, but why is it so easy for scammers to just escape scot-free? Cryptocurrency in the decentralized finance sector, DeFi, suffers most of the cases when it comes to these fraudulent activities. It's probably obvious for you to understand why, but basically, unlike traditional finance or centralized cryptocurrency projects, DeFi protocols have many more points of entry for hackers. All a hacker needs is to exploit one smart contract vulnerability. That's it. Perhaps you remember the $600 million theft from the Poly network? Or maybe the $180 million paid network loss from an exploit. Strangely, with the $600 million hack, the hackers actually returned half the money back to the Poly network. Apparently it's more difficult than you'd think to liquidate the money, so it's just best for them to give it back. But that means there's still $300 million in various wallets. You also don't need to be a hacker to get an insane amount of money. You could, with relative ease, make your own cryptocurrency. Biaheza just made a video on his process on how he made his own cryptocurrency. It's definitely worth a watch. But basically, you choose the network that you want your coin on, copy code that has already been made for you, Input your coin name, ticker, and a supply, pay minimal gas fees, and boom, you're now the creator of your own cryptocurrency. Best part, you can input how many coins you personally get versus what's available for the public. Now, all that sounds really nice and innocent, but here's where it gets deceptive. All you need to do is make social media accounts that look official for your coin, buy thousands of followers, likes, retweets for the content, put the amount of coins that you own and disperse them into many wallets. This is to give the illusion of volume and interest in your coin. And then you can get bots to even trade the coin around to those personal wallets to artificially get hype for the coin. Then, as soon as you get real people to buy the coin and pump up the price, this is when you do what's called a rug pull. You simply liquidate your holdings at the peak, tanking the price and making out with all the funds that real investors gave. This happens all the time. The most recent one is the Squid Game token. Maybe you've heard of it? Millions were lost as the price peaked at $2,856 per coin and then plummeted 99.99% to a single cent. And this is all because of that rug pull method. They got artificial hype, people pumped up the price, and then they took their money. So how does one not become a victim of all these scams? There are a ton of ways to get scammed out of your money in the crypto space, so this is what you have to look out for. Never give support staff, or anyone really, remote access to your machine. This is the technical support and impersonation scam. 
Basically, you're going to get a call from someone saying that they're part of the technical support of the platform that you're trading on. They're going to say that there's a problem with your wallet and they have to verify you before they can solve the issue. Do not fall for this. If you're using Coinbase, for example, make sure that phone number is listed on their website. And even then, maybe I just might email them just to make absolutely sure. The next one is giveaway scams. Giveaway scams happen on a daily basis. They use social media to make it look like they're giving something away and they will give you a hyperlink to a fraudulent website. Then they'll tell you that you won and they need to verify your address by sending crypto to the scam giveaway. Listen, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Don't send crypto to sketchy companies, That's, that should be a given. There's many more, but the last one I'll go over is pump and dump schemes. This can also be a rug pull as well. Now this one's the easiest to fall into because they're not asking for any information from you. They persuade the public to buy into this really small sketchy coin because it will soon go to the moon. They report people are now millionaires because of this token and it's still early so it's not too late to get in. Then as soon as the price hits what the creators want, they sell everything, leaving you and I holding the bag. It's really scummy and then they'll probably do it again next month. My advice for this is to simply not YOLO your money into these small sketchy projects. Yes, this means diminished returns because you'll probably only invest in more well-known coins. But you'll also not lose all of your money gambling on an unheard of coin, so take your pick. Now listen, I know that was all very doom and gloom about crypto, but I'm actually a huge advocate for crypto and blockchain technologies impacting our day to day. I think we have yet to see the true power of crypto and I think we're going to see it within this next decade. I just don't want retail investors like you and I to be scammed out of our money because of lack of information or caution that is the wild west of cryptocurrency. I only trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and ADA. That's it, because I think those are kind of the pillars of the cryptocurrency sector right now. And I'm happy with my returns, but perhaps you see it differently, and that's perfectly fine. Please comment your thoughts below on what the next Bitcoin will be, because I want to hear. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell, because I do stream every single market open. I'm currently doing a challenge where I'm taking my account from $500 to $5,000, trading options on only ticker symbol SPY. That's it. If you want to see my strategy on how I plan to 10x my account using this SPY options trading, click this video right here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frugal out there investors.